this is a colour knife. I like to do one before I do a major work. Just gives me some idea of composition before I leap onto the big canvas. Um, I've started with the face in this instance. Very simply drawn, almost underpainted. It's on um, a canvas that's primed with some burnt sienna. You can see the paint's not heavy at all. A lot of it I've just pushed on with my finger. Almost gives that sort of sepia look to her. This is the reference photo uh, by a friend of mine, Tracy Walker from Tasmania. Um, I'm laying the sky here. I've got the whole palette is really basic. It's got indigo, ultramarine blue, some Pilbara red, Australian red gold, burnt sienna and raw umber. Um, so you can see I'm just putting, laying the sky, I paint around the edges. Um, this is going to be a different sort of painting because it's quite traditional at the top and a bit more of a contemporary edge to it with the portrait underneath. Um, I'm just putting on the, the trees over the, the hillside and then I'll work the darker trees into the mist. That's sort of my setup there with my big um, light ring. So I, I do use a tablet so that I can sort of check my imagery and see how I'm going. Trees are put on with uh, indigo and I just work wet into wet really. Um, quite basically I work top to bottom, left to right and wet into wet. So I'm putting the, the background on and around her. Laying some thicker paint with my palette knife. Feeling a bit worried that this is not going to work out, but I've sprayed it. It's run. I'm happy with it now. It's pushed her into the background under the earth and that's what I was trying to portray. I really, really want her to be deep within that country that she loves. Um, to get the sense of, that she is of her environment and her environment is of her. So Traganini was one of the last of her language groups in Tasmania. Um, in those days there was a worldwide trade in indigenous bones as they were considered to be the oldest race in the world. She knew this and begged to be buried where no one would find her. Um, but two years after her death she was dug up and her remains were displayed in a museum um, where they remained for over a hundred years until they were reclaimed by her people, cremated and scattered in the channel, reconnecting her back with her country.